Monday morning. Ooh, it's foggy. Is that better? Eh, it's fogging up a little bit. It's Monday, 11.18 a.m. Getting out of the office for a couple minutes. I almost never come home on my lunch breaks just because I don't generally eat on my lunch breaks. I like to go get coffee. But Dro Coffee is closed today due to power outages. I think I saw on Instagram that they're gonna be open again tomorrow. In the meantime, I decided to come home. There's really nothing here for me to do. Uh, I'm not really hungry. I don't have enough time to sit down and like watch a show. I'm just kind of trying to figure out something to do with my time. Also, we had to take June to the vet this morning because today is uh, the day that she is getting fixed. They have told us that once she is fixed, her like craziness and her mood swings and stuff should calm down dramatically. So fingers crossed that that's true. We gotta go get her after work and bring her home. Kaylee says she thinks she's gonna end up wearing the cone of shame. And I kind of hope that happens cause it'll be kind of funny. Really want the little thing to start feeling better soon. Uh, I, don't, I don't want her to be in pain for a very long period of time. I don't want her to be in pain at all, but you, I mean, you get what I mean. Just thought of something. Maybe now's, a, uh, maybe now's a good time to show you guys what's in my little tech box thing since the uh, the dryer isn't going anymore. All right, hang on, let me, let me set this up. Alrighty, uh, this is just a tech drawer cabinet thing that we picked up at Ikea. I'm not entirely sure what it was called when we bought it, but this drawer holds pretty much all of my gear that's not currently in use or being carried around in my camera bag. So, so I have each drawer individualized for various things. We'll just stop the start at the top and go down. First drawer is uh, just camera related stuff. This is camera lenses, camera bodies, batteries, things like that. So we've got a lens cap and a body cap. We've got a front lens cap, my hard drives that we've talked about, multiple chargers. I probably need to go through and reorganize this whole system, but for right now, it's just, it is what it is. More camera chargers, GoPro mounts, battery grip. This is a polarizer, just various things like that. All right, drawer number two is all audio stuff. So in this pouch, I have pretty much my kit that I use and I carry anytime I go film on location. Uh, in the bag, I carry a Rode. This is the NTG4 Plus Boom microphone. Carry a Tascam DR40 linear PCM recorder, uh, an XLR cable, some other cables, and a microphone clip and that fun stuff. All right, also in the drawer, we have the Rode Lab lavalier microphone. We've got the Rode Wireless Go. This is a pop filter for my Rode NT1. We have the Rode AI1, which is an interface. This is actually the Rode Video Mic Go. It's missing a windsock because I lost it the other day when I was filming in Hurricane Laura. All right, next drawer is lighting stuff. This is my Godox SL60W. I use this for all of my, again, high production value shoots. A pair of headphones because they wouldn't fit in the audio drawer. A remote for the light. Uh, another XLR cable. The other accessories that go with the light, like the softbox and those things, they are all in these bags over here to the side and I'm not gonna go through that. The last two drawers in this cabinet are just miscellaneous stuff. There is absolutely no telling what's in these and I probably won't dig everything out of these. First things first, a micro USB cable, some mini rolls of gaffer tape. I actually just ordered these the other day. These are my old Beats headphones. We've got duck clamps. Uh, this is a survival headlamp. This is a collapsible backpack. A lot of this stuff is stuff that companies have just sent me and I just haven't gotten around to like talking about or shooting photos of or anything like that. A shock mount for the Rode NTG5. Cold shower cooling field towels. A couple chargers, a prism, some camera bag dividers, a half used thing of gum. Okay, that's it for drawer number one. I don't think drawer number two is any better. Nope, it's not. Roll of gaff tape, some drumsticks, there's some fireworks down here, 
uh, an old journal. This is actually a, uh, a camera stabilizer, like a steady cam type system. I don't really use it as much since I got a gimbal, but there's that. Deck of playing cards, a light bulb for a different soft box light that I use. This is kind of cool. This is an old Minolta analog camera that my dad actually gave me. I think somebody had given it to him and then he gave it to me. A gigantic thing of black cat bottle rockets. Oh, look. Another roll of mini gaff tape. I actually didn't know I had this down here. A mount for my GoPro that I've actually been looking for. Again, this cabinet used to be like really, really well put together. But as time would have it, it just gets, it's kind of like my camera bag. It just slowly but surely gets more cluttered. So I've uh, had a thought that's laced with a pretty significant amount of danger. I mean, there's a danger factor here. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I just never have found time, but I kind of want to, uh, I kind of want to take my GoPro and one of these little sticky pads that comes with GoPro and I want to mount this to like the roof of my car just for kicks and giggles and to add kind of a more dynamic angle to the driving shots. If this doesn't hold and this GoPro goes flying, and my wife sees this vlog, there's no chance I'm getting another GoPro. It's also important to note that I have never experimented a whole, whole lot with GoPros, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just hoping to get it on backwards. Okay. Surely the wind won't blow that over. All right, let's, uh, let's go try it out, I guess. Just to reiterate, if this goes horribly, what's up? You scared the fool out of me, dude. It's hey Aubrey! Hey! I just want to clarify, if it goes horribly wrong, this is by no means GoPro's fault. It's my own stupidity that caused this. Hashtag operation error. <laughs> yeah. Salads. Nice. So yeah, fun. Take that. I will. Gracias. All right, man. All right, homie. Later. Thanks for, thanks for scaring I'm me. Right here next <laughs> okay. All right. Ooh. Yeah. That. We are rolling. That would be. That that would that would be really unfortunate if I went through all that trouble and forgot to hit record. All right. Back to work. This has been fun. I gotta go inside and get some work done. I will see you guys when I get off at 4 p.m. I'll see you then. Four thirty-eight p.m. I gotta turn all of our equipment off. Then I'm going home. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. It's now dark outside. Um, I'm actually not still at the church. I'm actually back at the church, being that I left and then I came back. Just to spare you the details, I went home, hung out there for a couple minutes, had some work I needed to really finish, and I needed to bum off the church's Wi-Fi to come up here and do that. So I am actually back at the church, wrapping up this vlog along with some other work. It's 6.57 p.m. Still haven't eaten dinner, but I just ate half of a bag of Doritos, so. Anyways, I'm gonna call the vlog there. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, we get a point to like, comment, and subscribe. All those fun things. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for continuing to watch the videos. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m.
I'll be there. See you there. Bye.